Hey everybody, it's Vicki with Dementia with Grace. How are y'all doing today? Today we're going to talk about a question um, that I get asked a lot and I want to explain um, what, it, what it means. The question is, can dementia come and go? Um, can you be better in you know one day and worse another day? You know, they say, you know, mother knew me yesterday, but today she just doesn't seem to know me. Is she getting worse? I mean, is she going deeper into the stages? Or sometimes people say, you know, she was horrible, you know, last week and she didn't know us. And then now she just seems so much better. Is she getting better? So the short answer is no, that dementia is a is a disease that is a progressively worsening disease. There is no cure and it will not get better over time. It actually will get worse over time. So let me talk about what you are witnessing um, and kind of the causes of that and explain that a little bit, okay? So what happens is just like all of us, people with dementia, have good days and bad days, and that can account for some of it. You know, sometimes I, I liken it to a radio station where, you know, sometimes you're just off the dial. I'm showing my age that you can dial in on your, can, your tuner on your radio. I, I think now you hit a screen. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, when you're trying to find a station, you can just be right off of the station and you can hear a little bit of music coming in, but you hear a lot of static. Or you can be completely off of the station and all you hear is static. Or you can be completely on the station and you hear the music. So the way that I think about how our how a broken brain works is that sometimes your brain is dialed in. Um, it's hitting on all neurons. It's, you know, everything is, is, is hitting um, kind of the way it's supposed to be, especially in the early stages when you have a lot of um, receptors that are still working that have not, um, you know, been assaulted. And so you can dial in on that radio station, um, you know, on that function, on those memories, and you can, and it, and it hits. Sometimes you get close, um, and it's a little bit staticky, but it's maybe, you know, she doesn't know your name, but she knows that you're her daughter, um, that kind of thing. And then sometimes it's just completely static. So it can be good days and bad days, and, and it's, and that is the way that I explain it to people. The other thing that affects daily, um, the daily impact of dementia are other comorbidities. Um, if you're having a, you might be having a good day with your dementia, but your blood sugar is sky high. Well, that can cause issues. You might have a UTI and that can cause issues. You might have some uh, severe pain because of osteoarthritis and that can cause a difference. Um, because remember, we're not just talking about cognition, we're talking about, you know, M M C C J R. so it's memory, concentration, critical thinking, judgment, and reasoning. It's also mood and behavior. It's also, um, you know, uh, all of those kinds of things. And so a bad day can be a bad day in any of those areas, right? And there's other things that can cause that, infections, pain, constipation, um, just being overstimulated, being understimulated, all of those kinds of things can cause your dementia to either be, to either seem better or worse. So that's what happens. Um, and then the other question that someone asked yesterday is, can they go from stage three to stage five in six months? Yes, I mean, Yes, they can. They can, you know, some dementias progress faster than others, um, and some people progress faster. Generally, you know, ever how fast you go through the stages, you can count on that as the stages progress. If you went from stage two to stage five quickly, you will probably quickly go from five to seven. If, you know, I had a lady one time that was in stage five for 10 years, <laughs> and that is very, very, very unlikely, very rare. Um, and then it took her a long time. I mean, she lived with dementia for years and years and years and years. 
I had another lady that went from five to seven in a couple of months. Um, I mean, she was walking around having, you know, general conversation, able to do some of her ADLs, and then she was bed fast in just a matter of months. So it is very individual. There, you know, inside of the FAST scale, um, the Functional Assessment Staging Tool and the GDS, the Global Deterioration Scale, both of those by Riseberg. I'll try to think to leave a link down below, but they're inside the group in the files on the group, on our Facebook group, Dementia with Grace Caregiver Support Group. They're inside the files there. Um, they are, they give um, time frames about how long the stages last um, and how long each stage lasts, and it's a ballpark figure. Um, so generally they say from the beginning of the diagnosis of dementia, you know, to the end stages can be anywhere, you know, from, you know, it's, it's an average of about seven years. Um, but it's, it can be two years, it can be 20 years, it, it, it varies, right? Okay. So the short answer is dementia does not get better. The symptoms of dementia can get better. The symptoms of dementia can be worse. And so, you know, and you can have moments of lucidity and moments of clarity and then have another day where it just seems like they're in a whole different stage. You can also straddle the stages. If you don't know what stage your person is in or you don't know what type of dementia your person is in, if they would be willing to see a neuropsychologist or an, a neurologist, then it is helpful to know what type of dementia they have if you can get a tight diagnosis. And it's helpful to know what stage they could be in. Just don't put all your eggs in that basket because it can vary over the course of a day, over the course of a week, okay? Um, you know, where they are in the stages. Okay, all right. If you need a group, um, if you need some support, come on over to the Facebook group. It's Caregiver Support Group. It is Dementia with Grace Caregiver Support Group. The book is Dementia with Grace, A New Positive Way of Dealing with Behaviors and People with Dementia. Um, and it's the, it, it's, it's the, um, the behavior management tool that I have developed and I have taught in homes, in facilities, and in personal homes. Um, people are using it with, with great results. It's, it's just the joy of my life that it's successful in, in different homes all over. Um, and I do these videos Monday through Friday, the Lord willing. Um, I am here uh, Monday through Friday doing these videos and we've got now I think over 80 videos. So I would appreciate you subscribing and that way um, when you subscribe and hit the bell, every time I load a video, you get notified and so you can be one of the first to see it, okay? All right, I will talk to y'all soon. If you have any ideas about what you would like for me to talk about, leave it down below. Uh, in the comments. I'm very responsive to the comments and I'll try to get a video made on it. Okay. All right. I'll talk to y'all soon. Love y'all. Bye. Mwah.